I'm at it again. This is a uh, 3241 plow that I bought last summer. And if you look at it, you can tell that it used to be a three bottom because of the extra bracketry. And so I figure with the pieces I have hanging around here that I might be able to make it into a three bottom again. So what that is going to mean is I need to move this beam here back to this side and then I need to put the long beam in there and then uh, you know add a bracket to that bottom and figure out what we need to do. So I'm going to attempt it anyway. It may turn out to be a total failure but you don't see very many of these as three bottoms as many as you do as two bottom. So I'm going to give it a shot. So this takes an advanced engineering degree to take all these puzzle pieces and make it what you want. But I got it basically laid out. I need to move this back beam forward because it's not in the right spot where it is. I got to bolt the other whoop-de-woo, whatever you call it, bracket from the beam to the middle of that bottom. Then I can get it positioned right and then put this up there and then figure out if I have to drill any holes because this is not the beam that would have been the add-on beam. So we have to see whether or not we need any extra holes that aren't there. But it is off to a start and I think that it is possible. So I'm willing to give it a shot. It's just going to take a little bit uh, of patience here. So I'm going to get back to work here and see what I come up with. So here's what I got, and this will be how it is. I need to drill two holes in this beam here to put this plate on. <clears throat> That's where it's supposed to be, according to the pictures I've looked at of others. Uh, another thing I noticed after putting it on is I need to move this long land side back here to this uh, third bottom, and then it won't interfere with the bottom behind it uh i gotta put this brace in here and that'll go into one of those holes that i drill and then the only other thing i have to do is make a piece of metal to go from here up to this bolt here so i'll probably put that back like it's supposed to be but otherwise i should have a complete 3241 three bottom uh three point plow I think the only difference between this and one that was original that somebody would be able to tell is I think that this backbone beam here is a little bit taller and a little bit thicker than the uh, original. You can see that looking at this one, but to the naked eye, it looks pretty well like it's supposed to, and it's all Oliver plow parts. It's just maybe not the exact right ones the uh, beams here that go into the bottoms are the same diameter and width and height and everything thickness as the uh, other ones on the plow and on the 4340 because if you haven't guessed that's where all these parts came from was that 4340 plow that i parted out so i need to get some more bolts i need to do those holes and then make that brace and then i think that this is the way it should be and I will have accomplished another project that I didn't know how soon I would get to so that is good so here's the beam off of the 3241 plow that I need to drill these two holes in and I don't know why I thought any different but this is a very very hard piece of steel so I've got a whole pile of dead soldiers down here that gave their life to at least get me some pilot holes, which those bits probably didn't start off sharp anyway. I go to auctions and buy piles of drill bits for jobs like this where I know it's going to, you know, probably destroy them. So I went to the local hardware store 
and armed with about $65 worth of drill bits, I think maybe we can drill the rest of this. I've always heard that you could drill uh, hardened steel with masonry drill bits if you sharpen the tip a little bit. So I think we're going to give that a go too and see if that does what we want to do. Otherwise, I got multiple bits we can try to sneak up on on the size, but we need to get these holes drilled and then that ply will be done. Well, I should have probably had the camera on record, but I have to say I am impressed. One carbide 5 8 masonry bit has just punched a 5 8 hole through this, what is it, inch thick, inch and a half thick bar and uh it didn't really grunt or anything i mean i put lots of oil on and just went slow but it punched right through there so if we can do the second one that easy i think we got this taken care of I'm impressed I think that was the last job that bit will do but for as hard as this was I'm satisfied with spending money on a drill bit to do something like that it definitely threw out the shavings hmm interesting I don't think it's quite the right size on this side. I think it gave up its original size somewhere halfway through, but... Hmm. Interesting. One leg of the carbide broke off, and that's what stopped us. Other than that, it did really well. So, I can't complain about that. It also is Chinesium. So, what more can you expect from that? I think this bit was like 12 bucks. So, definitely good for the value for what it just endured. Ouch. Well, that's junk. A 5 8 hole. Almost a 5 8 hole. This one's a 5 8 hole. So, <clears throat> after the carbide broke off of the masonry bit, it didn't make the hole quite 5 8 And the twist drill bit wasn't up to this task. I mean, this is a hard piece of steel. And it's obvious that... Uh, the masonry bit thing is a good idea. I wish they would have had two because then I could finish this hole off. It's so close, but it's got just a ridge in there that needs busted out and I cannot do it with the twist bit. I've got some old ones. Maybe I can get one of them to finish it. I might as well ruin multiple bits, you know. Oh, it's so close. It just has to finish. Oh. What the heck was that? Huh. That was interesting. Something puffed the magic dragon there. Don't know what it was. Oh, are we 
there yet. So close. It would go through, but I'd really like to clean that hole up. Man, that's crazy. Oh, that drill bit broke too. Final countdown. The last pass that's going to ruin this last bit. That's gonna pour down rain. So where two have failed, one carbide wonder does the trick. I wish I had had another one of these and I could have probably eliminated some of this. But uh, once the piece of carbide broke off of this, that was the end of that. But these others, just around, there was a ridge left in that hole and just to round that or cut that ridge out, they were not up to the task. I mean, it did not take long at all for something bad to happen. I had a third old one and uh, finished off rounding out the holes. So this one's off just a little bit, but I think we can make it play ball. We'll just have to have to see, but I do not recommend drilling holes in a plow beam as it is quite difficult but hopefully this task is completed so here's what i got this is the final result a three bottom 3241 plow and i don't know if i pointed it out uh earlier on but the the biggest way that i've noticed to tell the 3241 from the 3240 is this piece that your front coulter goes on on a 3241 is bolted to the front and on the other ones it's part of this beam and comes out at an angle but i might be wrong there might be some other obvious thing i've overlooked but anyway so it's back to a three bottom like it was at one point in its life and what's interesting is it looked like they never readjusted the hitch when they switched it to a two bottom so I don't know how it really plowed because, uh, you know, you need to adjust your hitch for the center of draft and that changes when you drop a bottom. So I put it back. The only thing I had to make was this piece here in the literature it had a brace rod from here to here. And that was kind of a guessing game, but I think I got it pretty close in the picture. It had two holes in it. So I followed suit and, uh, did that. So really the only thing left is to find some cultures for it and uh, I want to give everything a final tightening uh, oh we also need to move that land side from that bottom to this back one because that long one won't work there so I guess I'll put it over here for now I may just end up getting three new ones uh, the literature shows them with short ones on all three but whatever we'll put it on and uh that way we can at least try it out probably i need to get some cover boards and i think i got enough of the brackets uh from that other parts plow so i should be able to put some on here i'll just have to get some or make some i need to put a new shin on that one because it's got an obvious problem the points are kind of all equally worn even the one off the parts plow so i don't know it may or may not work as is but we'll definitely try it out but these are plows that for whatever reason you don't often see in three bottom configuration so i thought that it'd be neat to have one and i had one that was one at one point because you could see by 
the fact that it had this bracket on it and then it had uh, part of that bracket was on there so uh anyway i'm happy with it i just need to like i said get coulters i may have enough pieces to make some uh i've got some spring cushion coulters off of my 5540 i talked about maybe once before and uh anyway i can probably use those on here but they need a lot of work so we'll tighten up the rest of the bolts and then we'll probably call this a done project for now set it to the side well as always if you enjoy the videos give them a thumbs up that really helps me out if you haven't already subscribe so that you don't miss anything thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one